Hello, my name is Amy Rolfus and I'm the Executive Director at the Family Learning Institute in Ann Arbor. Welcome to our kitchen table classroom where we'll share some good ideas on how to help your kids learn right at home. For the past 14 years, Family Learning Institute has been providing one-on-one -on -one reading and math tutoring to elementary students living in low-income households. Using methods that have been developed by experienced teachers, we have helped over a thousand kids boost their grades and find success in the classroom. We know our approach works, but we also know that when parents build on this in the home, it works even better. So join us today where we'll share some great ideas and some fun and easy ways for you to spend quality time with your kids and help them find success in learning. Hello. My name is Joellen Mogelgaard, and I welcome you today to the Kitchen Table Classroom. What I'd like to talk about today is phonics. Phonics is really the foundation upon which many students learn how to read. You may even have learned to read, learning the names of the letters and the sounds that they make. This is the foundation, and the reason I say that is most children in the primary grades learn phonics. You may have an older child in the family who's struggling with reading, and it may simply be that that child did not get all of the phonics foundation he or she needed. So it's very important to talk about phonics all by itself. As you know, in the English alphabet, there are 26 letters altogether. Only five of them are vowels. All the rest are consonants. The vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. And it's these vowels that I want to talk about today. The long vowel sounds are easy because the name of the letter and the sound is the same. For example, the sound of long A is A, long E is E, long I is I, long O is O, and long U is U. However, the short vowels are trickier, so let's talk about those today. You may even want to get a piece of paper and a pencil, maybe to write some things down. The good news about these tricky short vowel sounds is that there is a pattern that children can learn to help them identify whether a vowel in word is long or short. But to begin with, I'd like to share with you the vowel sounds, the short vowel sounds, the basic ones. You may want to put these on cards eventually or on paper to help the child remember. So let's start with the vowel A when it's making its short sound. Short A says A, ah, like in the word apple. My suggestion is that on an index card or a piece of paper, you write the vowel A and then have your child draw an apple next to it. Jade, you really took your time to draw these cards. What vowel did you write here? The I. And what sound does a short I make? Eh. Ooh, nice. What picture did you draw? I drew an igloo. That'll help you remember that one. Which vowel did you write here? A uh O. -oh. And what sound does the short O make? Ah. Ah. And which picture did you draw? A octopus. Which vowel did you write here? E. And what sound does a short E make? Eh. And what picture did you draw for I that drew one? an elephant. An eh, eh, elephant. What about this one? Which vowel did you draw here? A. And what sound does a short A make? Eh, eh. What's this picture? Ant. And we're missing one more vowel. Which one is it that we didn't draw a card Q. for? Awesome. Can you make a card for you? Sure. I believe that if the child can do the drawing, it kind of helps command this uh, memory, command this to memory, which what will help them remember as they find this sound oh, in a word. Uh, what's a good one? Umbrella. Uh, 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 umbrella. 
bundle these together or paper clip them together and put them in a very safe place so that you can review them from time to time, checking with your child to see if they really know when that, that vowel is, is short. It's really important for us to remember these short vowel sounds. We practiced them a lot today, so I'm just going to take them and I'm going to make sure I keep them, what do you think, in the kitchen cabinet or in the kitchen? Um, the kitchen cabinet. Okay, I'll do that. I did say that there were five vowels. There also is the letter Y, as I mentioned, that makes this a vowel sound on occasion. We will talk about that when we get to the long vowel segment. Why bother to learn these short vowel sounds? It's very easy for kids, once they've learned them, to begin to read simple words and even these simple words, as we well know, are patterns in very long words that we need to sometimes divide up into syllables. For example, if you take the short sound a, a, and put a t after it, you have a word family at. Putting lots of different letters in front of at, you can make other words. I want to see if you can add one of these cards to the beginning of the word at, and let's see what word we can make? P. Hmm. Pat. Pat. Can you? Pat. I didn't hear you though. Can you sound that one out again? Pat. Can I hear you sound that one out? Pat. And what word did you get? Pat. That was awesome. Okay, let's switch out. Try another one. The R. You got the R now. R -a -t. Rat. Rat. Okay, you're on a roll. Try a different one. Pick a hard one this time. Oh, this is too hard. Sat. 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 Say it with confidence. What'd you get? Sat. 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 That's great. Last one. Let me see if you can get this last one. Huh. At. Hat. Wow, you are getting these short vowel words. You know what? We're going to keep these in this envelope. We're going to put it on top of the refrigerator, and every okay. day we'll just practice a little bit. How's that sound? Good. Good? Sounds good. Can you help me put these in? Sure. All right. Once the child has learned these short vowel sounds, you'll find it so much easier for them to figure out words they come across that they do not know. So may I give you the rule again? When you have a consonant followed by one of the five vowels and then another consonant letter, that vowel in the middle is almost always going to be a short vowel sound. There are exceptions, there are many exceptions. That's what makes learning English so hard. But the fundamental basic vowel sounds are here and playing around with the consonants will give your child a big advantage in trying to follow, uh, sound out even words that are long. You can do a lot of this review when you're doing the dishes. You might say to Max, hey Max, I'm gonna give you a word. Can you tell me what vowel sound you hear in the middle? So you might say a word like hat. You might say a word like hot and see if he or she can find that vowel sound. Listen carefully, focus on it, and Good. give you the vowel. Okay, let me, I gotta get a harder one for you then. What about in the word hot? H-A-T. H-A-T. O? Oh, and what sound did that O make? Ah. Ah, okay, okay, I see you're getting tired. Two more, two more. What about in the word, ooh, this is a hard one, send. S-E-N-D. E? E. S-E-N-D. Okay, that was good, you got it. Last one, last one, has to be hard, hard, hard. What vowel do you hear in the word rug? Uh, go. You, the you. Woo! Jade, you are on it. That was good. Great job. 
Look for these patterns on the cereal box, on the billboards as you're driving in the car, or look for the pattern in books that you're reading to the child. Those three letter words, consonant, vowel, consonant. I also want to tell you that if you have access to a computer, there are some really great uh, websites that have games that involve short vowels and that are free. You might want to do some checking on uh, your computer to see if that might also be a fun way to introduce and to practice short vowel sounds. Thank you. See you next time.